welcome to another segment episode of half hour organizing projects and I just want to remind you that these half hour projects are tiny little projects that added up over time as you do each of these will start to make a big difference in your home um, there's so many great organizing things that I want to show you but they can't be done in a half an hour and this whole project this whole reason for this project was that because I wanted to give you all things that could be done in realistic amount of time 30 minutes so even if you're a busy person you can get these done so here we are again back in the kitchen there always seems to be something going on in the kitchen and I want to talk about organizing things like plastic wrap um, Ziploc bags or plastic bags uh, any of this wrap that you use in your kitchen I find it in kitchens all the time in about three different places or you buy too much of it and you have you know six rolls of tin foil so I want to number one is for you to not buy as much I'd like to see that I'd also like to see you have one of everything in your kitchen space and then if you have more than that and it doesn't fit into one space then you take that extra stuff and you locate it as a back stock like a grocery store into maybe the pantry or a laundry room or even a garage extra back stock works great and you can put it in containers like this and then it can go right on a shelf if you don't have a drawer in your kitchen to put this stuff then it also works great inside a plastic bin that can live on a shelf maybe in a pantry or a cupboard okay so that works really great as well but I like to keep mine in a drawer. Makes sense to me. So let me just show you how I do it. So it, this is the most used stuff. We use baggies, sandwich bags, and large bags almost every day. Here's some extras of them. And then plastic wrap and some tin foil. But you can see I don't have 35 of things. I have one of everything in here. And that is what I want to see you do. So in this half hour project, you're to get all of this kind of kitchen wrapping, get it out from everywhere, pick one of everything to fit in a space in your kitchen, and then use something like a container for backstock and put that where you're going to go pull from when these...